Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a empties video, which if you've never watched an empties video, it's basically where I just talk about uh, my trash. All the products that I've used up in the last, I don't know, I guess I'd say like two months, maybe longer, three months, something like that. Um, I've been collecting it in this basket and I'm just gonna talk through all the stuff that I used up. And I personally love watching these videos because it's just like an in-depth review of all of these products because I got to use <laughs> City. You don't, you know, you can get in here. So yeah, it's basically just a review of all these products that I used up and I'm gonna tell you if I like it, if I've repurchased it, if it sucked. So yeah, let's just start. Um, first thing, probably the most boring thing in here. I used up some um, Up and Up makeup remover cleansing towelettes. The, this brand is uh, the Target brand. And I didn't really like these. I prefer the Neutrogena ones, but I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy these. I didn't think they were comparable, even though it says that they're compared to the Neutrogena makeup removers. I don't think they are. So I didn't really love these. Next up i used up a shampoo and conditioner this is from the brand number four um this is the hydrating conditioner and the hydrating shampoo um i recently uh, over the summer i was getting my hair highlighted and bleached and um my stylist suggested that i should try this shampoo and conditioner duo and i really liked it um it was um it smells pretty good. It's pretty light, I would say. It's not overly fragranced, um, but I really liked it. I felt like my it didn't do anything bad for my hair, obviously. Um, and yeah, it was just really hydrating. And I think this brand is really natural. I don't know a ton about this brand. I don't think I would purchase these again, just because I tried another shampoo and conditioner that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit um, that I liked better. So um, next I used up this gigantic candle um this is a candle that i got from home goods it's the brand dw home so if you ever go to home goods they usually have this brand and it is by far my favorite brand of candles that they sell there um you can also buy these on amazon i never there's like dust on it <laughs> um i've never bought them on amazon i usually always buy them um at marshall's when i go but this was the first time i bought like this gigantic one it seriously it says it the burn time is 90 hours it did take me a very long time to go through this one um this is the gardenia rose scent and it was really nice it smelled just really floral just obviously like gardenia and rose um, so I really liked it and these candles are really uh, priced really well. I think this one was like $9.99 and this is a gigantic candle, huge. So if you go to Home Goods a lot and you've never tried the DW Homes um, brand of candles, definitely check them out because I think they're awesome. Um, next up, I used a self tanner. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic. Oh my gosh, got dust on me. Um, I ordered this one on Amazon and as you can see, like the packaging got like really messed up with all this red. I don't know what happened. I think the product leaked in the package when I got it. Um, but I love this self tanner. It's actually the self tanner that I currently use. I repurchased it. I really, really like this. It is a foaming, uh, like a bronzing mousse. Um, so I just use it with a little cloth and I love it. I think it's a really awesome color. It's more on the, um, like olive side. Uh, it's not orangey or like a red tanning color. It's definitely more olive and green. So I really prefer those types um, of uh, self tanners. I really like it. So yeah, obviously I like this one because I repurchased it and I just used it yesterday. So love it. Um, next, I used up a whole can of hairspray. This is the Tresemme Expert Selection Keratin Smooth Frizz Free Hold Hairspray. Um, I really, really love this hairspray. For, first of all, it lasted me so long. I swear I had this for like three years because um, I really don't use hairspray a ton. Um, only if I'm doing like some sort of updo, I might use hairspray, but I typically don't like hairspray, but I really liked this one. Um, it was a light, flexible hold, so your hair didn't feel crunchy at all, and it didn't have a really strong scent, which is another reason I liked it. I prefer this one, and this one's at the drugstore, and I think it's 
probably only like four or five dollars. It's pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, I like this one. I will repurchase it whenever I feel like I need some more hairspray in my life. <laughs> um, next, I used one of these packages. I actually probably used a couple more of these, but I didn't put them in here. Uh, these are the Impress Press-On Manicure, which I know you're probably thinking like, what? Who uses press-on nails? I do, and I actually really, really like them. Um, I, I feel like the, I don't know if it, what it is, but sometimes they're hit or miss. Sometimes I'll put them on and they last for two weeks. I don't have a single one pop off. I don't have any of them start like peeling up or anything. And then I'll get another package of them and they pop off instantly. So I don't really know what the difference is between the different like colors or why sometimes they last better than others. Um, but if you ever need, um, like a French manicure or you want fake nails, even for just like one night or maybe just like a weekend or something and you don't wanna to go to the salon and pay full price for um, acrylic nails or you just don't want acrylic nails because they're gonna mess up your nails, I highly suggest trying these Impress nails. Um, I think you can find them pretty much anywhere, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, any of those places. Um, and yeah, I think they're really great for press on nails. Uh, these are like, six dollars or something maybe they're eight dollars but they're pretty inexpensive way cheaper than actually going to the salon and getting acrylic nails so um check these out okay i used up another hair product this is the black light shampoo um by the brand oh god oligo o-l-i-g-o oligo from my go with um i also had my uh stylist recommend this to me and i loved it this shampoo i've tried i've gone back and forth being like brunette and blonde probably like 10 times in my life and so i've tried a lot of different sh blue shampoos or purple shampoos um whenever i go blonde and this one is the only one that i feel like actually did tone my hair it's supposed to like blue and purple shampoos are supposed to take out the brassiness in your hair um, when you've dyed it blonde and it just kind of gets that brassy look to it. Purple and blue shampoos are supposed to help with that. Um, I've typically only used purple shampoos. This was the first time I tried blue and I loved it. Um, I don't know where you can get this. You might be able to find it online. I bought it in my salon. Um, but again, the brand is Oligo and it's called the Black Light Shampoo. So if you have blonde hair and you, your purple shampoo just isn't cutting it, try this one because I swear this is, I would wash my hair with this and it would be so brassy before and I'd wash it once and it would just like completely tone my hair. My hair would go back to the color it was when I left the salon. It was great. I seriously loved the shampoo. Okay, this one I'm actually kind of sad about. <laughs> I used up uh, my Kim Kardashian or KKW, God, I don't even know what her brand is. The Kim Kardashian perfume. This is the, uh, I think this is just the Crystal Gardenia. Yeah, this is the Crystal Gardenia scent and I loved this perfume. So I'm actually really sad I used up the whole bottle. Um, when this first came out, I bought two of the small ones. This is a small bottle, it comes in a bigger size. I don't know how many. Oh, this is the 30 milliliters. So she does have a bigger size bottle, which maybe I'll buy because I really enjoyed this. Um, but I bought the Crystal Gardenia and the Crystal Gardenia Citrus version when they came out. And I didn't really like the Citrus version that much. Um, I really liked this one better. I actually gave the Citrus version to someone in my family, um, but I really, really liked this. So if you are wanting to try one of the Kim Kardashian um, fragrances, I would try the Crystal Gardenia. I really like it. And I, I really thought the smaller bottles were priced really well. And this lasted me probably like 10 to 11 months and I used it like almost every day. So the little bottle lasts a really long time enough. Okay, next I have the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I didn't really love this. I used up the whole thing just because I don't really like wasting products. Um, but I didn't like this. I have really dry skin and I felt like the main thing that bothered me about this is the smell. It smelled like plastic or like chemicals or something. It just, if you're gonna have a smell, like at least make it smell good, like something. Um, but this literally smelled like plastic or chemicals or something. And I just 
really didn't like it at all. Um, and I didn't feel like it hydrated my skin that well. It just didn't really wow me. Plus I didn't like the scent, so I will not be repurchasing this. I think I have other moisturizers that I prefer over this one. So this one was kind of a miss for me. Okay, I used up a, another spray tan, or what is this called? A self tan. <laughs> um, this is by the brand Fake Bake, and it's the Fake Bake Flawless. Um, this one was a liquid, so it's not a foam. Um, it comes in like a spray bottle, and it sprays out like liquid. And I really liked this. I think you can get this at Ulta, and I think that's where I got it. Um, but it comes with a mitt too, which is really, really nice. Um, so you just already get a mitt in here. Um, but I liked it. I definitely like the mousse consistency better. I just feel like it was easier to control. It also came out more. I feel like I had to spray a bunch. I just, I think I like the mousse over the liquid, but um, this Fake Bake Flawless is pretty inexpensive. I think it's only like maybe 30, maybe 25 to $30. So it's definitely cheaper than the Saint Tropez. Um, so I, I do suggest this one. I think it, it was good, but I just prefer the mousse and the Saint Tropez one. It's just a little bit better, but I still like it. Okay, next I used up like a bunch of mascaras. So we're kind of just gonna go through these all together. <laughs> um, the first one, this is just a sample of the Tarte Gifted mascara. I don't, I don't think I really loved this one. Um, I really, really like Tarte's Light Camera Lashes uh, mascara, which is in here, it's this one. The Lights Camera Lashes mascara that looks like this. It's a, like a purple tube, it's like a leather or something. I prefer this one over the Gifted mascara any day. Um, this is actually one of my like favorite holy grail, most repurchased mascaras ever. Um, I really, really like this one. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like $23 if you're gonna buy a like higher end mascara, I think it's on the cheaper side. Um, so yeah, I would prefer the Lights Camera Lashes over Gifted from Tarte. Um, I also used up the, uh, what is this? Oh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This one's kind of like an oldie, but I think I just saw it in the store and was like, oh my gosh, I used to really like that one, let me try it. And I did like it. I still don't think it's, um, my favorite of like drugstore mascaras. I really like the, is it the Maybelline Rocket? I really like that one over this one, but this one is still good. I, I, I like um, mascaras that have these like rubberized brushes. I tend to like those more, um, especially from the drugstore. I don't know why, but this one is pretty good, but I think I'd go with the Maybelline Rocket um, mascara over this one. Um, I used up the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I didn't really like this one. It was lengthening, but it just wasn't my favorite of all the drugstore mascaras I've tried, so I probably will not be repurchasing this one again. Um, I just didn't feel like it was that great, so. Um, and then I actually used up a couple of these. This is the, um, is it L'Oreal? Yes, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and this is a semi-newer one, um, and I really, really liked this one. I've used it up a couple times. Um, I would absolutely repurchase this one. It's, it's kind of a weird brush. It almost looks like an hourglass shape. So yeah, I've used up a couple of these before, and I really like it. Um, I will definitely repurchase the, this one. I just, I'm using some other mascaras right now, so but this one's good. It's a keeper from the drugstore. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about the shampoos that I said I tried that I liked better than the number four. Um, this is the, I got the little samples. Oh God! <laughs> I just like threw them at the camera. Whew. Okay. Um, these are the little sample versions, so they're really small. Um, but it is the Kevin Murphy Angel Wash and Kevin Murphy Young Again Rinse. I loved these shampoo and conditioner combo duo, whatever you want to call it. I loved it so, so much. Um, again, I bought these from my salon, but I think you can buy Kevin Murphy um, from most salons um, and also from their website. So I have really thin, fine hair. I guess I wouldn't say it's thin. Maybe it's thin, I don't know. I have fine hair. And so my hair gets really tangled 
like so bad. Every time I get out of the shower, I have to use a detangler or like a leave-in conditioner or something. Um, so when I used these, I didn't have to use that. My hair, just as soon as I get out of the shower, I could just take a brush and brush right through it. It was amazing. I have never been able to do that in my whole life. So if you struggle from um, like your hair just getting really tangled every time you wash it or just in general, um, try these because I loved them. And also the smell, let me see if I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. I have no idea what the scent is, but um, I think my stylist told me that um, they use essential oils for their scents in here. So it just kind of smells like essential oils. Um, and yeah, Kevin Murphy, I just, I had never tried any of his um, products before and I freaking love them. So I will definitely be repurchasing these. I just don't know when I have some shampoos to use up. So, um, um, okay. Next I used up the macadamia healing oil spray. Um, I got this at Marshall's, I believe. It doesn't have its price tag on here. Um, I got this at Marshall's and mm, I'm probably not gonna be repurchasing this. I didn't feel like it did anything amazing. I felt like some it would make my hair look shiny, but it's not something I really struggle with. My hair is pretty fine and like thin and I, like I struggle, my hair is more on the oily side in general. So I feel like my hair kind of looks shiny in general. So I don't really need extra shine. Um, I didn't, I wouldn't repurchase this, but maybe that's just me. Next, I used um, this acetone nail polish remover dip. This is by the brand Up and Up. These are my favorite types of nail polish removers. When you open it up, oh gosh, it's like stuck. When you open it up, there's like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but you like dip your fingers in it and there's a bunch of brushes around the whole um, like opening right here. So you just like stick your finger in it and then you just kind of like, I don't know, brush it around for 30 seconds maybe, maybe not even that long. Um, and it just takes your nail polish off. It's so easy. I just, I hate having the bottles of nail polish remover that you have to use with a paper towel or a cotton pad or something. I just think this is so much easier. I just always prefer having my nail polish remover in this form and it's still easy I can still like dip in paper towels or something in here if I want to like take off my nail polish on my toes I can still just use it the same way that you can use the other one but I just really like this version of nail polish remover so okay and last but certainly not least I used up a pair of lashes these are the Ardell um, natural demi wispies um, I really liked these, but I have found new lashes that I like even better. I feel like the new, these new ones that I've been using are a lot more natural. Um, the ones I've been using um, now that I really like are by the brand Kiss and they're number 11. I love them. I got them at Walmart for in like a pack of five or six, I think, for like $7, so crazy. Um, but yeah, I liked the Demi Wispies. I think I just, I just prefer more natural looking false lashes. I don't want people to just immediately look at me and be like, she's got false lashes on. I feel like that's just like the story of my life. I don't want people to think I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I don't want people to think I'm wearing a lot of like false lashes. So I tend to like a more natural look. Um, and I, these were pretty natural. They weren't extreme. I just, I don't know. I think I just like the new ones better. I'm kind of over these. So I don't think I would repurchase them just because I found these new ones that I like better, but I still think these are okay. Okay guys, so that is everything in my empties video. That's all my trash, everything I've used up in the last month or two. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you wanna see more videos like this. Um, go ahead and subscribe as well if you wanna see some more of my videos. I post videos at least once a week generally about beauty and lifestyle and whatnot. So um, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks.